My name is Richard Forrestal, editor of the Racing Post here in Ireland, and you are very welcome to Kildangan Stud in County Kildare for the 2021 Godolphin Irish Stud and Stable Staff Awards. Horses have been bred, reared, and trained here since the 1920s, and same as in every other stud and racing yard around the country, their success, both at home and abroad, depends on the devotion of the people who care for them. We are here to celebrate the skill and dedication of those people, the wonderful stud and stable staff who play such a vital role in maintaining Ireland's global reputation for racing and breeding. It's been a year we will never forget. However, racing simply wouldn't have happened without our stud and stable staff. Godolphin, the Irish Stable Staff Association, the Irish Thoroughbred Breeders Association, Horse Racing Ireland and my colleagues and I in the Racing Post are here on Racing TV to recognise and celebrate their contribution. So let's meet our amazing finalists and reveal the award winners. Some lovely vignettes and montages there. Let's get the show on the road with the Racecourse Award. The Racecourse Award is chosen by the Irish Stable Staff Association and is based on a quality programme survey to set standards for stable staff at racecourses in Ireland. Let's find out who the winner is. The Racecourse Award goes to the sunny South East, the only racecourse in the Dacia County, Tremor. And we're now going to be joined via Zoom by Owen Byrne, Tremor Manager. How are you, Richard? Congratulations. The Irish Stable Staff Association have picked Tremor Racecourse for this award. To earn the recognition from those at the coal face like that, it must mean an awful lot to you and your team. Ah, listen, it's fantastic. We're absolutely thrilled. Uh, many racecourses do a fantastic job. And I think to be recognised uh, this year especially it has been fantastic, really. Uh, the stable staff put in a huge amount of work and uh, with COVID and everything and the restrictions that were put on them about not stopping off on the way, we just felt we had to continue what we were doing and, and try and up a little bit for them. So we're delighted. We're delighted there. The cold face of the race as racing. So to get any sort of recognition like this is fantastic for us. We're thrilled. 
and tracks have had to adapt and improvise, haven't they? It was lovely to see last week Henry de Bromhead's ceremony for his conferring of the Freedom of Waterford down in Tremor in the parade ring. I know they were socially distanced and everything, but there was a few people in there. It was nice to see people back on the track again. Oh, look, it was, it was great, really was. So we're really looking forward to having owners back as well now next uh, week when we race the 4th of July. Um, so it was fantastic to have some sort of bit of ceremony going on there and it was a lovely occasion, really was. The prize includes, of course, €2,500 Euros to be spent on the facilities to benefit stable employees. What plans have you got? Well, I, I, we're actually in the middle of doing a bit of a refurb there because the stable the canteen hasn't been in use for the last while. So we're in the middle of doing a big refurb there at the moment. Uh, we have plans actually to build a brand new stable uh, canteen. It uh, was to be in 2019, but obviously things have just got curtailed a little bit. But we want to give it a really good clean-up. So it'll certainly come up, we'll come up with some nice ideas for that. Or if stable staff have any suggestions, we'd be delighted to hear them. I'm sure they will. It might include a bar, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, congratulations, Owen. Congratulations to you Thanks. and all your colleagues at Tremor. So well deserved. And it's great to see another regional race course, which are always so well supported, acknowledged in this way. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. The game changes slightly from here on. This is the first of eight awards, which will have three nominees in each category. Let's start with the Racing and Breeding Support Services Award. The finalists are Niall Kennedy, owner of Equestrian Laundry, Helen O'Sullivan, career coach at the Irish Jockeys Trust, and Cathy Healy, office manager at Healy Racing Photography. Let's get to know our finalists a bit better. My name is Niall Kennedy. I'm the owner of Niall Stable Services, Equestrian uh, Laundry, and we're based in the Curra, County Kildare. Back in 1989 is when I first started this business, and um, basically what we do is we uh, provide the uh, yards in the Curra with a six-day-a-week laundry service, which entails um, saddlecloths and girt sleeves which are laundered uh, six days a week and each horse um, has a fresh saddle cloth and girt sleeve for each lot every morning. This industry is, is, is just wonderful to be involved in um, and again horses are my life um, and always have been. Um, st it stems back to my grandfather Willie Tracy, uh, he was a, a racehorse trainer and then my dad Vivian Kennedy um, he was a jockey and uh, then when he finished riding he went on to, uh, to be a successful trainer. My mother uh, makes the racing circuits so, and has done for the last 40 odd years. Yeah, I was very surprised actually to, to be nominated but uh, um, and then you know proud as well because we have been involved for over 30 years in, in the business and I'd like to think we were a small little cog in the, in the, in the workings on, on the Cora anyway for, for sure yeah. Hi, I'm Helena Sullivan. I'm career coach at the Irish Jockeys Trust on the race campus in County Kildare. What career coaching does is actually helps an individual to get clarity. And sometimes in the initial stages, they can't let go. They can't let go of being a jockey or whatever. And you have to work with them and it takes time. And you start looking at what their transferable skills are and what, what skills that they're lacking in whatever path that they want to go and then with the, uh, with the help of what we call the Friends of the Irish Jockeys Trust um, I might have to ask them, I, we've built up a whole network of studs and stables and say the likes of Horse Racing Ireland, the Turf Club, the Farrier School, the Racing Academy, we've built up a whole network of people who will actually take them on board for me if they're working for me on where they see themselves going. We'll fund them for a while while they're doing that. And we say we're not giving them a hand out, we're giving them a leg up. I just think that especially the stud and stable staff have, should be rewarded. And we have to thank the Dolphin for bringing up this, these awards because they're very prestigious awards to win and you know you deserve them if you win them. But I do, I'm delighted that, you know, there's, that the other people behind the scenes, especially the hard work to do in studs and stables and all around that they, they're, they're deserving of their awards. My name is Cathy Healy. I'm the office manager for Healy Racing in Listowel County, Kerry. 
Healy Racing was the brainchild of my father, Liam Healy, and my mother, God be good to her, Joan. Um, my father started in approximately 1975. Together they, they put together the system for the office, which we actually use the same format, the same blueprint today, the filing system. The transition from, um, from the old system to the new system is something that I, I had to implement. So like I said, we still use the exact same blueprint that my mother and father put in place back in 1970s um, in our system today. Everything is filed under name of horse, meeting, date, easy. To see horses in action, caught at a specific moment, the expression on the jockey's face even, the, when the position is just right, is magic. The pictures capture, sometimes they can speak a thousand words, words that are not verbal, if, if that makes sense. They can capture the emotion of a single second, captured in time forever. I'm completely honoured and humbled by my two brothers um, for bestowing this, this upon me. I'm so even more grateful because it's the Irish stable staff who are the absolute heartbeat of this industry. And it is an industry I'm proud to be part of. Well, we heard Helen speak beautifully there about the difficult transition from a jockey to another career. One man who's had no difficulty in that regard is the inimitable Fran Berry, who is acting as our roving reporter. Let's see who he is going to surprise. Thank you, Richie. Yes, we're here in Clare Town about to surprise our winner. Let's see how we get on. Oh my God. Hello, <laughs> Fran. How are you? Helen, how are you? Listen, great news. Congratulations. You're the winner of the Racing and Breeding Support Service Award at the 2021 Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards. Oh my gosh, what a fantastic trophy. It'll upstage my daughter's baptist on the mantelpiece from now on. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'd actually, Fran, love to dedicate this to the late Stan Cosgrove, um, Michael Osborne, Derek O'Sullivan, Jim Marsh and Dr Walter Halley. They've all worked tirelessly, not only for stud and stable staff, but jockeys as well for their welfare. And I'm proud on their behalf to receive this today here, especially at Curra House, where it all started 47 years ago. So this is really an honour. And I would really like to thank Godolphin because they continue to support year after year those of us who work behind the scenes to keep the show on the road. So this actually means an awful lot to me and I'm sure to everybody else who nominated me and were good enough to write testimonials about me. So thank you very much, Fran. I'm just absolutely overwhelmed. What a beautiful acceptance speech. Congratulations to Helen, who has made such a huge contribution to racing. Now we come to our third award, the Administration Award. The nominees are Anne O'Connor, Racing Secretary for Michael Halford, Marie Rowley, Racing Secretary for Pat Flynn, and Aoife Hannerty, Stud Secretary at Oghill House Stud. Let's see some footage of our finalists. Hi, I'm Anne O'Connor, Racing Secretary to Michael Halford at Copper Beach Stables in Kildare. So as I came through all the different jobs, having all the experience that I picked up in Goffs and through uh, the industries, it has helped me here because we still deal with horses going to sales, we still have fillies uh, that will be covered still racing, so any of those facets and then the contacts I've made in those uh, companies have helped me here a real passion for horses, so sport horses are race horses. I think uh, the whole industry, breeding or racing, it's all about dreams to reality. I was only here two weeks when Sir Tarak won the Gold Cup in Dubai and it really showed me like what it means to the whole team and the extended team. But I suppose through racing one thing that um, uh, I managed to achieve was I organised charity races at the Curra for Shane Broderick and the Injured Jockeys Fund. And I suppose an achievement for me was Lester Pickett came out of retirement for the race. 
uh, and I headed Leicester Pickett across the line on the curragh. It may have been on Laura's bow who was fourth in the Grand National, but it was a great achievement and we managed to raise a lot of money for the charities. A lot of us, we, we kind of trundle along through the years and work in the different places. We never actually take note of what we do. And it's only when you actually start putting it on paper, you recognise what you, you have done uh, and what you contribute. You know, it, it's, um, I'm very honoured to be nominated. Hi, my name is Marie Rowley. I'm Racing Secretary in Pat Flynn's down in Carrick on Shore, County Waterford. I'm delighted and I really appreciate Catherine nominating me again this year for the awards and I'm, you know, grateful to Sheikh Mohammed and everybody for sponsoring this award system, like all the background people to be appreciated and it means a lot to everybody. I actually love every bit of it, really. Um, if we've runners, we do declarations in the morning, then there would be entries to do, again, another deadline, 12 o'clock for the entries. Then I'd organise transport to the races. You'd be checking the horses' vaccinations, passports, getting the colours ready, informing the owners if they have a runner, and other than that, there's lots of other things. You'd be ordering feed, bringing the vets, farriers. No, no day is the same, you know, that kind of a way. I'm 30 years in Pats this year, half of my lifetime. When we had the three winners in Cheltenham, like they all stand out my memory. Barry and Storm winning the Galway Hurl, that's a, I have a fond memory of that day, now that was something else. As long as Pat keeps going, I, I, I'll keep going as long as I'm allowed to be here. I, I intend to stay going for another few years yet anyway. Hi, I'm Aoife Hanratty. I'm the Stud Secretary here in Ankill House Stud in County Kildare. I've been here kind of full time for the last few years and then I have my own business, PA Solutions, then on the side. Both here as the Secretary and PA Solutions, there's very similar roles. It's just you cover everything that work that's office related, whether it be payroll or invoicing or anything in between uh, doing the sales schedules or sending mares things off for stored, whatever has to be done is just done really. Yeah, my husband was nominated in 2019, he was a finalist for Meadowhorn Stud, so sure we were delighted with that. And it meant so much to my husband as well being a finalist. People put in a lot of hard work, so it's nice when people are recognised. So to, even to be in that, like to be counted as one of the people that deserved an award is, is amazing in itself. Look, I'm going to be blunt, it's much harder to be a woman. The, ma the men don't stay at home with the children, the women generally do, and the women have to have maternity leave and have babies, and it is harder to be a woman. But do you know what? There's so many strong women in our industry. And do you know what's great about it is that we all, we're all there for each other, whether you're a woman or a man, whatever you are, we're all looking out for each other, and we're all there for each other, and everybody gives everybody a bit of support. And do you know, everybody's kind of there for each other, and it's like a little family of its own. So, yeah, all power to us. <laughs> Some lovely pieces once again. Now, I think we have a masked crusader waiting in the wings to reveal our worthy winner. Let's take a look. Have a look in that. Let's see what's in it, please. What? Take that out, please. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Anne. You are the winner of the 2021 Administration Award in the Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards. Oh. Well done. Thank You're you a very, very much. deserving winner. Wow. Congratulations. I wasn't expected now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, it means a lot. It's, uh, it's great recognition. Actually, this year I celebrate 40 years uh, working in the industry. So, um, no, it's really apt to celebrate it this way. Um, it, it means a lot. I just trudge along, do my daily job. Um, the calibre of, of nominees is just something else. So it is great to be acknowledged. Lovely to see the surprise on Anne's face. Congratulations, Anne. Clearly a vitally important cog in Michael Halford's operation. Now for the Newcomer Award. This award recognises the rising stars of our sport. The nominees are 
Nicholas Cope, stud groom at Ballyphillips Stud. Keith Lynham, stud groom at Ringford Stud. And Kelly Ray, groom for Sarah Lynham. Let's meet our finalists. I'm Nicholas Cope. I'm stud groom here in Ballyphillips Stud, Croom County Limerick. So the day today, at this time of year, we're kind of in a lull at the moment in June. Um, most of the work we do here concentrates on the yearling sales and there's about 10 to 15 mare, mares foaling here each year. So we've got all our mares foal now, all the mares covered again. So the day-to-day -day activities are after slowing down, so we're kind of on the summer clean-up, getting ready for the yearlings coming in. and. Um, to see these horses go on and progress when they hit the racetrack and just to think that you were a small part of that of getting them where they were, they take great satisfaction and seeing them cross the line and in the winner's enclosure and things, it's great really. So I've been lucky enough to work with some very good people in the breeding and the pin hooking end of things and the stud management and the things, the real hands-on stuff like Jerry Dilger and Paul McCartan and James Henley all quite hands-on. Um, bred some very good horses, pin hooks some very good horses, so I'd, if I could I'd like to follow them and I'd love to be able to manage a stud myself in time and please God in touch wood that um, someday I might be able to run my own business. To be recognised from Godolphin or even to be nominated by Paul and Marie, it's fantastic really just to know that there's they, how much we, they appreciate stable staff like myself and um, for the awards to be given out to people that are doing the day-to-day -day work like me, it's, it's fantastic. My name is Keith Lynham and I'm stud groom at Ringford Stud Road, County Offaly. Growing up I always had horses and was interested in, in riding horses and ponies but never went any further so I went to college and I did hotel management and I worked as a chef for 10 years and in 2017 I says if I'm going to make a career change I'm going to have to do it now before, before I kick on too much so I came here in 2017 and haven't looked back since. I love the foal that's been born, you know, it's, it's very special, there's something nice about it, seeing them coming into the world first day and then we'd be listening out to see what they go on to do or where they run or what they've been called, you know, it's, it, there's something nice about that and then I suppose prepping for the sales we'd be watching it and a great bit of excitement seeing them going through the ring and you know it's it's nice to know you've been a part of their journey and, and what they've what they've done so far you know. I've lots of happy memories from in the last four years I even bred my own foal in 2020 so that was huge excitement for me and I got to learn loads from being here and 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 you know it was it was really good. Oh, it's brilliant. I was delighted to have been nominated. I couldn't believe it. Um, and then for Godolphin to have these awards, it's brilliant. So, you know, it's, it's definitely been a bit of excitement around the yard with days like today and, and, and all the rest, you know, but it's, it's great, to, great for us, I suppose, to get a bit of recognition for the work we do. Hi, I'm Kelly Ray and I'm a groom here at Sarah Lynham Racing at Garth Town House here in Dunshockland. I started working for Sarah a little over a year ago now at this stage and um, absolutely loved it from the beginning. Um, the people are great and um, get on really well here and absolutely amazing facilities here and the horses are great and that's what really kind of gets it for me and just learning about the horse and watching them progress throughout their training and uh, coming on and getting them to the track and just seeing them do as well as they can do and yeah definitely got a little bit emotional sometimes um, Joyosh especially when he won in Dundalk um, he's won three in a row there for Sarah and um, especially the second day he won he um, he battled really really hard to win and um, got up just in time and yeah it, def it definitely brought tears to my eye I think I was just so proud of him and it was great and the same with um, Irish Ambassador he's um, a bit of a tricky animal. He uh, he's a, he's a great horse. He has so much character, but and he has so much potential. But um, when he the day he won, um, that was definitely a little bit emotional for me because uh, everyone like it took a it took a team, it took a whole family to get him there. And um, when he performed that day, we were we were over the moon, like absolutely delighted. I actually couldn't get over it when uh, when I was told. I was absolutely thrilled, over the moon. Um, it's it's just so nice to be uh, thought of in that respect. And like I'd always look at 
people who've won these awards and look up to them. They're people in the industry that I'd aspire to be like, I suppose. Just to be even thought of among those type of people, it was, it was amazing. Winning a trip to Dubai and 2,500 euro, the winner of the Newcomer Award is... Over to you, Fran. Thanks, Richie. Yes, the future of wonderful sport is indeed bright, with three wonderful finalists in our Newcomers Award category. Unfortunately, on this occasion, there can be only one winner. Let's go and give them the good news. Keith. Not only are you nominated for the Newcomer Award for the 2021 Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards, you're also the winner. Oh, gee. <laughs> I'm sorry, much. Many congratulations. Thanks a million for that. Jeez, I can't believe. <laughs> God, it's... Th thanks very much. I'm lost for it. Jeez, it's beautiful. Oh, it's a pleasure. Listen, we've listened to your, you talking off camera, on camera, about how, go how much you enjoy your work. Big transition from 2017 when you're a chef to here now. Yeah. Jeez, I'm delighted. Thanks so much. It's beautiful. And thanks very much to Godolphin for it. I can't believe it. God, I haven't won anything in years. <laughs> it's, got, it's great. Thanks very much for it. I'm delighted now. Jeez. We can see your horsemanship with the animals here today and that uh, it's something you just get a really good buzz out of. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 great. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm lost for words now, lads. <laughs> I can't believe. So I won the award. You have won the award. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done. And like, oh, gee, I can't get over it. <laughs> Fantastic achievement. Well done, you, uh, Keith. You are. Uh, congratulations. You are the winner of the 2021 Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards, and you won a newcomer award. Thanks very much, um, to Godolphin. I'm delighted. It's brilliant. I can't get. I can't believe it. Congratulations, Keith. A touch of the I can't believe I'm Rachel Blackmore about his acceptance. As Fran said, the future of racing and breeding is indeed very bright. On to the Horse Care Award, which takes us to the halfway point. The nominees are George Dobbs, stud hand at Staffordstone Stud. Jennifer Breslin, assistant broodmare manager at Bally Lynch Stud. And Emmett Raher, head lad at Henry de Bromheads. Let's get to know George Jennifer and Emmett. Hi, I'm George Dobbs and I'm a stud hand here in Staffordstown Stud in County Mead. Here about um, 24 years, but I just love the job, you know, absolutely adore the horses. You know, it's not, it's not, it's actually not like work coming in here, you know just a job I love and always did and always will. Yeah, we get the folds over here in November. We wear the folds and um, we start them then from then on till um, August. We start them, they come in in August and we start them there for the sales. Break them, lunge them, drive them, everything like that. We go to the sales with it then. We go to the new market, Goffs, uh, Doncaster last year. When they're all sold, we start all over again. If you work here, you do everything, <laughs> you know. So I do, when I'm not at the um, horses, I do the lawns, you know, everything like that, you know. And it could be, could be fencing, anything like that, you know. And plenty, plenty of work to do, you know. I never thought I'd see this day that you used to be coming up and, you know, filming me and uh, it's, it's great. Uh, you know, I'm delighted, I'm delighted. It's something there, you know, at least there's someone looking at you. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what I'd do if I hadn't got it, you know. I, I, I'd be lost, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I'd be lost. Hi, my name's Jennifer Breslin. I'm the assistant manager here of the Broodmare Unit in Bally Lynch Stud, County Kilkenny. My principal duties here would be the care of all the mares and foals. Um, just making sure that every problem, no matter how small it seems, is brought to the attention of the manager or the vet and yeah just make sure that nothing is missed and everything is given the best possible chance to be as good as it can be. One of the things I most enjoy is working with the sick foals. I think spotting a problem and you know bringing it to the attention of the vet and working through that problem whatever it may be. Um, we have our own lab which is 
a, a really good addition, especially since we're a little bit away from the hospitals, I suppose. So it's good to be able to have that on site and be able to do our own routine bloods and fecal samples and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, just being a little bit independent, I suppose. I've been here for 10 years now and it's just growing all the time. And like there, there's a couple of mares here that were foals when I was a student. So, and now they're brood mares. So I'm here working with them during their broodmare career after following them in their racing career. It's great to, to be nominated and you know I'm sure there's 101 people that deserve to be here as much as I am so it really is an honour and it's great to, to have and even just to be nominated never mind getting this far so yeah it's, it's great. Hi my name is Emmett Rahr I'm head lad in Henry de Bramheads in Knockeen, Butler Town County Waterford came here about five years ago, somewhere about five years ago, so would have started off as a work rider and then I, um, from there, after about a year, I got the opportunity to become a head lad. It's a great place to work and Henry is just absolutely incredible to work for. The yard look after is, the horses in it are just really, really special. To have honeysuckle in it, um, Manelli, Indo, A+, Tar, D, Clat, the rear, just the list goes on and on. It's just to, I had they came into the yard in 2018, the summer of 2018. Honeysuckle, Manelli, Indo, and April Star, and they're in my care ever since. And um, uh, what they've done this year is just to have a one two in the Gold Cup and to win a champion hurdle. It's uh, incredible. And then look, the other horses in the yard, Manelli trying to win a Grand National. Gee, whatever you dream about winning a Grand National, but to happen the same year as winning a Gold Cup, it's a uh, something really special. It's uh, fantastic to be nominated for such a prestigious award, especially with Godolphin sponsoring it, and it's great that they put so much funding into it, and I'd like to thank Rachel for nominating me. It's just incredible. Our winner had a significant impact on one jockey's season. Let's see who it is. Open up the lorry and bring down these horses off the lorry is just absolutely incredible. <laughs> How's the interview going? <laughs> is it going alright? Close to build. <laughs> I've good news for you. Well. You, my friend, are the extremely deserving winner oh my of God. the Horse Care Award at the Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards oh my God. in the rain. So, <laughs> massive Thank congratulations. You so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that stunted your uh, interview a bit oh anyway. Really? <laughs> Surprise, isn't it? Oh, it's here, it's a surprise. What does that mean to you to actually win that? Anyway? Oh my god, never ever ever thought that I'd get to win an award like this and to be I'll take it off for a associated second. with such great people. Rachel Blackmore is just phenomenal, sort of inspiration to everyone in the yard. And um, look, I wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say what I was going to say. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. It's so, so, so extra special. Um, especially the year Henry's after having. And look, it can't be done without a big team effort as well. I'm a link in the chain. It's uh, everyone involved. And only for them, I wouldn't be here today either. So uh, it's brilliant. Excellent stuff. Congratulations, Emmett, and to Rachel for helping out there. A season neither of you will ever forget. Let's move on to the In the Saddle Award. The nominees are Dermot Keeling, exercise rider and groom for Willie Mullins, David Glennon, stable lad with Dermot Weld, and Ray Michael Cody, head lad for his uncle Raymond Cody. Let's meet our finalists. Hi, my name is Dermot Keelan. I'm an exercise rider and groom here at Willie Mullins in Clawsutton in Carla. I came to Willie's kind of with the idea of working here for the summer, getting a feel for the place and meant to go to college the following September. Sure enough, I started here in the end of June one year and I haven't left since. That was probably 12 years ago nearly at this stage. 
been lucky enough to see and be involved with quite a lot of the very good horses. Like I've to, to even see the likes of Hurricane Fly and things like that, let alone have a sit on him every so often was, you know, that's pretty special. The tour was, he was the most special, I suppose. I went everywhere with him. Heartbreaking in King George, but winning in Cheltenham three times, yeah, that's pretty special. And at the minute, I suppose Shaq and Persoa is my newest baby. He's he's a standout. And to have horses like that and to work with horses of that standard is, you know, it's what you, you're meant to be in the game for. It's, it's it's the way to be. Like it's really nice to be recognised, and it's you know great. The likes of Godolphin, like they're a massive part of the industry and to, to recognise the stable staff like that, it, it's great to come from them and like to be recognised by your staff members and other people in the industry, it's, so it's, it's nice to get recognition from people like that. I'm David Glennon, I'm a stable lad here in Dermot Wells and the Curragh and County Kildare. After being with Dermot Weld, I went to uh, Germany and I rode in all the tracks around Germany and then I went to England I rode all as an apprentice around England and a lot of big races big handicaps and then I was working in Dubai for six months for Urban Sharpie and then I've returned back to work for Dermot Weld in 2002 and I'm here working with him I love going racing love all the, the crack riding out we have great whole banter here with loads of friends and and then going racing and going around the world basically with, with horses looking after them especially the younger horses around the yards at the moment you know getting to know all the young ones get a great pleasure out of traveling obviously horses and obviously with Tarnawa last year with all the travel and the highlights of her winning three group ones and being there you know it just fills the heart with joy coming in getting up on horses and been around them all the time, you know. I'm absolutely thrilled. Uh, I couldn't believe it that at first they were putting me in and that I have got this far. It's a huge honour for me and for my family. Hi, I'm Ray Cody. I'm head lad here for my uncle, Ray Cody. We're trained here in Owen in County Kilkenny. Really where I picked up the bug for the race, the whole racing thing was um, just, you know, we had a few horses at home there and two uncles, Raymond and Pat, they, they just, they just involved me in their day-to-day -day work and whatever, and that, I just picked it up from a young age there. And um, I was very lucky, yeah, I rode um, some very nice horses there for some very good people. Um, I rode 14 point to point winners and um, I had one bumper winner on the track for Raymond here, that was probably best day I've ever had in racing, you know, it was brilliant. Um, no doubt my favourite part is seeing, seeing them going on to progress and, you know, turned out like I broke their horses for the whole family there, John Bon and Sir Gerard, and to see him go in the champion bumper was brilliant, you know, that gives me the thrill, you know. It's just brilliant to be involved in them things, you know. It's, it's an absolute brilliant uh, award to be nominated and full Full credit must go to Godolphin for putting up the award. It's a great initiative to keep people involved and keep them interested and to, to mark people's to all the work they're doing. You know, it's brilliant. And a big thanks must go to Gillian and Raymond there because Gillian did all the, the work uh, to nominate me. And it's just great to, that they believe in me that I deserve to be nominated. So it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Fran, I believe you were on standby there again to surprise the In The Saddle Award winner. Thanks very much, Richie. We are here, of course, on the car, and I'm with Thomas Daly, and we're going to go and surprise a great friend and colleagues of Tom's with the In The Saddle Award. Tom, will we go and see him? Yeah, let's go. Tom, uh, David's been associated with some great horses over the years here at the Wells Stable, but no more so than recently, Tanarwa. Yeah, she flew the flag for us last year. Davy brought her to France twice, and she won on both occasions, won two group ones, won on the Arc Trial weekend and she won the Prix de l'Opera on the Arc weekend itself and then she went on to win the Breeders' Cup. But uh, like David, she's a little bit feisty now. But <laughs> <laughs> For sure. And uh, 
Davy, we're not just here to talk about the award today. Tom has a bit of a surprise for you, and uh, Tom, you might have a look in that bucket and uh, see what we've got to show here. Davy, you've you've won the in the saddle award at the 2021 <laughs> Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards. Oh, well, thanks very Pat. much. Congratulations, Pat. <laughs> Nominated by your friends. friends. What does this mean to you? Well, now I'm very surprised here now, and I'm not often caught from words, but I am this morning. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, well, it's lovely, the way of it. No, I'm caught from words, but I'd obviously love to thank everybody that nominated me, all the guys here in work, and really love to thank the sponsors, especially the judges, the committees, and all that are involved with running this. It's absolutely brilliant. Well, David, it's very, very well deserved. You are the winner of the In the Saddle Award at the 2021 Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards. Well done. Thanks, well very, done, much. Well done. Thanks well done. very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. Fantastic stuff. Well done, Davy. Tarnow is clearly in safe hands. The In the Saddle Award is a very competitive category, so a huge credit to you for coming out on top. Well done. Next up is the Leadership Award. More specifically, this one is for those working in studs. The nominees are Brian Delahunt, stud groom at Baroda Stud, Agath Labaye, stud groom at Kilfrush Stud, and Caroline Hannan, manager at Newtown Stud. Again, we have some footage of these three worthy finalists. Hi. I'm Brian Delahunt. I'm stud groom in Baroda Stud, County Kildare. Well, I had been working for John Osborne for 19 years previous to Baroda, and um, John was closing up his farm and doing different things. So um, I got a chance of a job with Baroda with David and Tom Selcox. And um, that's nine years ago, and um, I've been here since, and um, I've enjoyed my time here. When you enjoy your work, it's so easy for you. and. Like every time you see a foal being born, it's, it's so lovely. But I think the most pleasing aspect of the whole lot is you love seeing winning win in group ones and being really good horses. But the biggest thing of all for me is if a foal has been sick or an animal has been sick, see them making a recovery. And they're just, they're fascinating because every foal that's born is a dream with them. They can be anything. We've had some good ones being bred here, like the likes of Claude Stars with bred here, who's placed the two arcs, he's group one winner, and he stands at stud in France. He went on to be a stallion. We also bred success days here. He was a very good horse uh, for Ken Condon and he's standing down in Wexford, he's a stallion as well. Sometimes they turn out to be very good, but whether they do or not, they always, they always have a place in your heart. And whether they win or not, you don't think any less of them. God often do so much for race and I'm really humbled that, that somebody would, might think that I would deserve a reward. Hi, I'm Agathe Le Bailly. I'm the stud groom in Kilfrush Stud, County Limerick. I got a job in a, in a stud farm and I met uh, Nicole Tuck, who was the head girl at the time, and she sent me to Ireland. I came for six months and then 30 years later I'm still here, so that's kind of must tell a lot, you know, about it. <laughs> I love the falling. I like to see her. Uh, fall, being born and everything, and then to see him growing as well. I love that part, to see them developing from fall to yearling, and then after we know they're going to go away and become a racehorse. So the whole process is actually kind of nice, lovely to see, and I love to see them outside and go to see the fall playing together and developing. And uh, and what I love as well, I'm so lucky to be in a place and where the, the man is keeping, uh, he's breathing to train. So most of the time we're getting the family back. And I love that part as well, to note and in the stud we have the mother, the grandmother, the great-grandmother, you know, they all, I, I love that part as well. To be nominated, to be recognized for it, I do make a difference. And uh, yeah, to be shortlisted is a privilege and I'd like to thank Godolphin to give people the opportunity. Hi, I'm Caroline Hannan and I'm the farm manager here in Newtown Stud in Nice. Well, I'm lucky enough to be manager here for the last 10 years. Um, 
Sheila is the boss and she's absolutely brilliant. Um, we work great as a team, like, um, and sally Ann and Cathy, like, you know, we've got a wonderful structure here, you know, everyone helps each other. Um, I just always had a genuine love for horses. There's something I love being around. I think you never stop learning um, with horses, like, you know, nobody knows it all. And yeah, I just, I love, love working with them, especially, you know, the younger horses. Um, we do everything here from foaling to sales prep to breaking and pre-training. So you get to see, you know, every aspect of it. Um, so it's very rewarding. You, you look after these horses and they're so well-minded. And yeah, the dream is that, you know, they will go on and they will be the champion or be, you know, win a classic. Like that's, that's what it's all about. Every yard, every stud farm, every stable yard you go into, there's people that just dedicate their life to working with horses. And, you know, we all love the game. That's why we're in it. Um, and that's what makes this industry so special, you know. So yeah, I was absolutely thrilled and over the moon, I have to say. So I'm delighted and thanked Godolphin for, for the opportunity to, to be a finalist. Now, I believe Fran is lurking around the corner somewhere, waiting to surprise the winner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Carolyn, not only are you nominated for the Leadership Stud Award, you're also the winner. Oh, wow. Oh, we're my so, God. <laughs> so happy to be here to present it to you today. Thank bit, you so bit much. Bit of a surprise, but oh uh, very, very well done. And uh, con much congratulations. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Gosh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> A little bit of a surprise? Well, a little bit, but yeah, a big surprise. Oh, absolutely delighted. Um, total privilege. And uh, well, thanks very much to Godolphin. Um, and yeah, I'm just yeah honoured to be nominated. And I'd like to thank everyone who I work, here, work with here at Newtown. Um, it's a fantastic place to work. And I'm just privileged, privileged to do the job that I do. Very well done and uh, it's very much uh, well deserved so it is and uh, I can see the enjoyment all your friends are getting out with so. Uh, Go team! <laughs> uh, no, I'm delighted, thanks so much. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Means means a lot, you know, means a lot. It's 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 hard work but it's very rewarding work and yeah, we all, we love, we all love the game and that's what it's all about. We love horses and yeah, that's what it's all about. Now for the second Leadership Award. This time it's for stable staff. The nominees are Adrian Bulger, Yard Manager for Jessica Harrington, Damien Byrne, Team Leader for Joseph O'Brien, and Valerie Keatley, Head Girl with Johnny Murta. Let's meet Adrian, Damien, and Valerie. Hi, I'm Adrian Bulger. I'm a yard manager here in Jessica Harrington's Cummins Town, County Kildare. I'm honoured, to be honest, because I, I'd never put myself forward for something like this. And to me, I'm just coming in and doing my job, and I love doing it. And anyone who needs a hand in the yard, I'll happily help them. And I like teaching, say, younger riders or anything that come in as well. Just help them out with small bit. It might be only the smallest thing the way to hold the reins, and I can get joy with that without seeing them improve of me just saying one little thing as well. Seeing the, the younger horses coming in and really trying to get to know them and then seeing them progress and maybe becoming something, the next big thing, you know, and really enjoying their whole journey through it. My favourite day in racing so far has been leading up Path Fork in the Curra. It was Miss Harrington's first group one, it was Fran Berry's first group one, and it was my first group one to lead up in. and. Like he was a phenomenal horse and we could have 364 bad days but then that one day the rest is forgotten about because it's all worth it then. The variety of horses here and the expansion we've done over the last couple of years is unbelievable. Like everything from Gold Cups, Champion Hurdles, Classics, Group Ones. I've no doubt she will eventually accomplish all that can be accomplished in race and like win them all and hopefully I'll still be here to enjoy it with her. Hi, my name is Damien Bowen. I'm a team leader here in Carrigan Old Race and Joseph O'Brien. This should all begin in Jim Bulger's uh, 34 years ago now. I learned an awful lot there. There was a lot of good people there at the time, you know. Uh, Aidan was there, 
my list up with Paul Carberry, Jamie Heffernan, Tony McKay. You know, it was it was great. Yeah, three years there, it was great. And then um, came here with Aiden. Then after that, yeah, been with your minds ever since. Yeah, a uh, few different bosses. Aiden here first, and then um, after that we had Francis Crowley training here, and then her father Joe, a lot of us, you know, and. Uh, Done a stint in Aiden and Emery Stud Farm and then Joseph started here five years ago, so been here ever since. The place was always here, but there's a lot of work done to it since Joseph took over. Oh, every facility you want is here now. Uh, it's grown again. You know, we have a big number of horses, a lot of two-year-olds, and uh, it's a great place to walk. If you didn't like it, you wouldn't be in it. It's simple as that. And there's no way you'd stay as long as I'm in it if, if I didn't like it. Simple as but it's just uh, it's, it's a great, you know, I couldn't see myself doing that now, I just could not. These awards are fabulous. It gives small people in the racing industry a chance. It's not all about the trainers and the jockeys. Like the stable staff are there and they are a major part of it. Major part of it. Hi, I'm Valerie Keatley. I'm head girl here in Johnny Murtis here on the Curra. I rang Johnny Murta one day for a job and uh, he said, yeah, I'll get back to you. So a couple of days later, he rang me back and he said, yeah, when can you start? So it's all progressed since there. When I started here at the beginning, we'd only the bottom stable. This here was paddocks. We used to bring horses out for a pick of grass. So like when you see the difference, the sheds, the yards, the top barn's gone in, the menage has gone in. A lot has changed here, for the better, thank God. And as I say, we're progressive. It's, it's an adventure here. No two days are the same. And I'm here about eight, nine years, so it's absolutely brilliant. When we go racing, we have a winner. It's, it's unreal. The next morning, they come into the tack room. Did you see that? Did you see that? Wasn't it brilliant? Do you know what I mean? That's the good days. Like, behind the scenes, I get a kick out of it because I'm in charge with those horses. So it's a great buzz for me to say, I helped with that achievement come along the way. I think when you're young, you're 20 and so, you don't get the same kick out of it as you do later in life. It means an awful amount, so it does. And look, it's brilliant that it's been done. It's great for a Godolphin to do such a thing, do you know what I mean? I'm, a, I'm thrilled that I'm one of the nominees. Look, so whatever will be, will be. Now this time I think we can go to a very proud trainer who is going to break the news to our lucky winner. Barry, we need a whole list please. There we go. So congratulations Valerie, you are the winner of the Leadership Stables Award for Thank the you. Godolphin Stud and Stable Star for 2021. So Thank you. well done Val, well deserved. Jeez. I don't know what to say. Thank you very much. This means a lot. Sorry. I'm over the moon, it's absolutely brilliant, but this means as much for the yard. I have a brilliant team behind me. They help me, they make my job so much easier here in the morning. I'd like to thank Godolphin for the sponsorship. I'd like to thank Johnny and Orla for nominating me in the first place. That means a lot, so thank you very much. Now we come to the Dedication to Racing and Breeding Award. This is for someone who has devoted their entire career to the thoroughbred breeding and racing sectors. The nominees are Ger Brabston, horse box driver for Dernstown Stud. David Flynn, travelling head lad for Michael Grassick Jr. And Michael Lyons, stud groom at Mount Coote Stud. Let's get to know our nominees. Hi, I'm, my name is Sherb Robson and I'm a box driver here in Dernstown Stud. Well, um, my dad was working in Valley Dial all his life and I was kind of born rare down there. So I suppose it was natural progression for me to go in there and got a part-time job from school and then left school after two years working in there, said it wasn't for me. So I went into Valley Dial and I've had horses ever since. I was a bit heavy for the riding in Valley Dial, so and then David finished up training, so I decided then I tried to try the stud game and, and position became in Dernstown and I'm here since as well as says, you know, so 33 years later. 
Well, I suppose I have the responsibility of travelling horses, so obviously I like that, but um, to be honest, anything to do with horses, I love. I just, I'm coming in and out this gate every day for 33 years, and I've never, I've never woke up and said I don't want to go to work today. Anything to do with horses does me, I just love when I work with looking at I walk around there in the evenings, have a look at them when I'd be out walking my dog and I'd have a look at the mares and foals out in the fields. Sure, it's, it's a great life, it's just, you can't beat it. The, the Mactoon family have done so much for this industry and this, like since I started working in, 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 with horses like they've just put so much into this game but between this and the flying start that they do and they're like they're great initiatives for people and you see they're, they're all their studs in Ireland their show pieces same in England America it's just like they're great people they're great people to work for long may they last in this game they're, they're brilliant Hi, I'm David Flynn. I'm travelling head lad to Michael Grassics on the Curra. I started working with a, a man called Paddy Cairns first uh, up in Castleknock in 77. And then he passed away and I took over. Michael took over then in 78, Michael Grassic Senior. And that's how it all started. We trained in the Phoenix Park in, from Castleknock. And in 79, the Pope came over and they built a big monument there, which took away the gallops. So we had to move to the Curra, and we've been here ever since. Years ago, before they built the motorway, we used to ride up the, from here. But nowadays, with the traffic being too, uh, too busy, they have to box them up. So the lads go out in the horse box two at a time, and I stay and I do the yard work, and I put the horses on the walker and muck out. Racing, you get a great buzz going racing. I try to see the horses looking well. That's my ba my main enjoyment of it. But when they go racing and they're looking well and healthy, and at least they run well. My happiest day would be uh, leading up the Michael Air winner, or Michael Grassic Senior, his first group one. Going to Royal Ascot, leading up Michael's first winner at Royal Ascot, uh, San Sebastian and then going back again the following year and winning, this, winning again. So he's a dual Ascot winner. So they were, the, they were the two highlights of my career. Hello, I'm Michael Lyons. I'm second in command in Moncoot Stud in County Limerick. Well, I started here in the 14th of February, 1972 and uh, next February I'll be here 50 years and 14 February because is Valentine's Day and I'm in love with Moncourt since. I'd be driving nearly five, six days a week, taking the mares to stud and things. That's a big responsibility. If I had to go to Mullingar, I might be gone at three o'clock to be above there for six o'clock in the morning. I might get home and might you have to go to the Curra or something, you'll be told. So I have to do that as well. So. It is a long day, but I enjoy every bit of it. Immortal verse, we took her to the sales from here, and they were expecting good money for her. But we went to the sales, and I let her up at the sales myself, put her through the ring. She made 4.6 million, which is a European broodmare's price. I remember walking around the parade ring in, over in the market, the hair was standing in the back of my, in my head and I was getting a bigger step every every hundred thousand that was up. <laughs> so that was it. I know that was a great day. I have to thank Luke for the nomination. So it is, it is appreciation actually on his behalf. Shown a bit of respect to me uh, for it. And that's it, I'm off the moon. Now we're going to go back to Fran for this one. He is the man with the great honour of presenting the trophy to our winner. Hi, Jar. Hi, Fran. Good. Jar, I'm here with this beautiful Godolphin Stone Stable Staff Award, and I'm delighted and honoured to tell you that you are the winner of the 2021 Dedication to Racing Award, and it's a big honour to present it to you here today. Oh, jeez, that's great. Thanks very much. I wasn't expecting to be the winner of it, but jeez, uh, it's an honour. It really is an honour, so it's, it's uh, delighted, delighted to win it. 
Well, your lifetime in the game, you've been around and you've been in Durham and stood here a long time and you've been nominated by all your friends and colleagues, which must mean a lot to you. Oh, it does, yeah, yeah, it does. It means an awful lot. It means an awful lot the year that we've had this year as well, you know, but it's uh, like it's 33 years working in Durham Town. It's, it hasn't been wasted, you know, it's, it's been 33 very happy, happy years here. So it's uh, and thanks to all the people who nominated me. Thanks to my family as well. I wouldn't be here without them either. So, and thanks to Sheikh Hamdan and Dernstown and the management here. And it's, it's a real honour, it really is. And thanks to Godolphin for sponsoring me as well, which uh, they, it wouldn't happen without them either. So it's it's, it's a real honour, it really is. An honour I wasn't expecting, but delighted to receive it. Delighted. Well, listen, well done. It's very well deserved, Jar. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Fran. Thank you. Thanks. Superb stuff. Congratulations, Ger, on winning your award. And we better not let the moment pass without acknowledging David and Michael as well, who, along with Ger, have given over 130 years of service between them to this industry. Remarkable dedication to the racing and breeding sectors. Congratulations to you all. Well done. With the year that it has been, Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards wanted to recognise the unwavering support that the IHRB's Senior Medical Officer, Dr Jennifer Pugh, has given to the industry. Jennifer thinks she is here today to pay tribute to those stud and stable staff, which she is. However, we have a little surprise in store for her. I'm now joined by Joe Osborne, Managing Director of Godolphin Ireland and sponsor of these awards, and also by Dr Jennifer Pugh, Senior Medical Officer with the IHRB. Joe, I might come to you first. I know this is something we probably say every year, but it's humbling, isn't it, to see the dedication and the commitment of the stable and stud staff every year, the nominees and the finalists. It really is, and it's, it's a great sense of pride to be part of this industry, to see so many talented people, and it's a great opportunity for, for us at Godolphin and for the industry generally to give all of these finalists their moment in the spotlight and just commend them for the great work that they're doing through all seasons, year round, it's been, you know, so it's great, great to see it again, great calibre of finalists, and yeah, it's a happy occasion. Yeah, and so challenging this year as well. Jennifer, you've been at the COVID-19 coal face throughout, and this year, the last 15 months or so, have presented so many demands and challenges, and especially of staff at Cheltenham and Aintree, all the protocols, the restrictions, how have you found them to deal with in that regard? I mean, I think a lot of my well, a lot of my friends and family are all involved in the industry, so I would have had a good background and a good ground in, in from sales right through to studs to the races. But this year, I think, has brought me closer than ever to the current cohort of, of staff because they've had so much to deal with in order to just attend their place of work where we're so used to coming in out to the races and there's great camaraderie and fun. And this year, that was all stripped back um, and it really became hard, hard work. You know, there was none of the... Um, none of the frills, none of the celebrations, none of the nights out afterwards, none of the, even just sitting down in the canteen to have your, your dinner at the races, you couldn't do that. Yeah. Everything was stripped back. So, I mean, I think they've been, they've been exceptional in how they've conducted it, um, themselves across the board through the sales, studs right through to the race course. Yeah, we're so appreciative to, uh, to them for keeping the show on the road, aren't we? Absolutely. And, yeah. you know, I mean, I've had umpteen calls from people who, you know, everyone knows the, the barcode, you need to get into a race course to do your health screening, you know, and the number of people that I've had to say, look, I'm really sorry you missed the cut off you can't go and that's really difficult to say to somebody who's there to earn their living who genuinely forgot um, but on the whole people have respected the protocols they've, they've worn their face masks they've washed their hands they've they've kept apart as I say the kind of fun side of racing was stripped right back again um, and they really they really stood up to the mark yeah and hopefully we'll have people back soon to celebrate and so on now we brought you here today to pay tribute to them and you've done that beautifully thank you but we also had a little ulterior motive Joe I may pass over to you here yeah, Jennifer on behalf of the Godolphin Ireland Stud and Stable Staff Awards, I'd like to make a special recognition presentation to you. Uh, it's been an incredibly challenging year. You and your team have kept the racing show going, which is, you des all deserve huge credit for. Uh, racing is the engine which keeps the whole industry going. So on behalf of us, our sponsors and the industry generally, this really gives me great pleasure to recognise the great work that both you and your team at IHRB have done. So. Congratulations and well done. Thank you very much. That was uh, not my understanding why I was here, so thank you very much. It's <laughs> much appreciated. Sit down, folks. Thank we, you. We, we'll have a quick chat. You didn't, you didn't notice there was anything <laughs> rumbling? And my face. No, I didn't. Uh, goodness, thank you very much. No, look, it's been so deserved. I think even getting the show back on the road at the start, it, it was so important to the industry, and you and your team played a pivotal role in that. 
um, and keeping us all safe then for the duration. And still that remains the case, obviously. So we are very appreciative. Well done, so well deserved. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. As I say, it, it's been a privilege to work with, with people. I think this time last year, who would have thought 12 months later we would still be racing under protocols as strict as what they are and then I think of everything that's gone on in between and we've mentioned Cheltenham and, and Aintree taking that number of people over as a big uh, family bubble there was great camaraderie um, great great sportsmanship over there and I actually would say it from my side I was privileged to be, get to be there and get to be involved in that and, and work with such brilliant people. Well, again, well done. We're so appreciative of your endeavours throughout. So well deserved. Thank and you. I think I can speak on behalf of the entire industry in that regard. Mm -hmm. And I include the media because I know <laughs> we trouble you regularly with updates. There might be a government tweak to the guidelines and all of a sudden we're all scrambling and you've been brilliant to deal with. So well done. Thank you. So we now arrive at the Irish Racing Excellence Award. This is the final award of the show and the highest accolade of the Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards. Let me remind you of our Irish Racing Excellence Award finalists. Helen O'Sullivan, Anne O'Connor, Keith Lynham, Emmett Raher, David Glennon, Caroline Hannan, Valerie Keatley, and Ger Brabston. Remarkable finalists. The Irish Racing Excellence Award winner is going to join us by Zoom and he or she is completely in the dark. So let's make one final surprise to our outstanding winner. We're now going to welcome Valerie, Johnny and Orla. Valerie, massive congratulations on winning the Leadership Stable Award. We saw in your lovely reaction in your video, it means an awful lot to you clearly. Yeah, it does. It's a special moment for me and the art. I think it's a great achievement. Thank you very much. <laughs> so well deserved. Johnny, Valerie has been with you since the early days of your training career. She's obviously a very important member of the team there. She is. She came to us early on in the, in the, in the, the day and um, looked after all the good horses, used to ride Royal Diamond, um, you know, led up our first winner in Royal Ascot. So, yeah, we, we, we owe her a lot. She's, she's, she's a huge addition to the team. She sets the standard and she keeps all those young lads on their toes. <laughs> That's important too. <laughs> Orla, Valerie's attention to detail, it, it, her absolute love of horses, it, it really stood out in her nomination. They're important attributes to have in a racing yard, aren't they? Oh, very much so. It was very easy to nominate Valerie. She, her love of her job, her love of horses, it stands out and she's a real leader among the younger generation here and she's great for somebody that they can turn to at, at, at any time. Lovely. Valerie, lovely words from Johnny and Orla there. It obviously is a, a real team effort in Fox Covert Stables. Yeah, it is. We have a lot of young people, but everyone gets stuck in. Everyone loves their job. They love their horses. There's very little problems. Everything goes lovely and smoothly. It's, it's brilliant. It's just brilliant, so it is. Well done. Now, as the winner of your category, you go forward for selection along with the other finalists for the overall award, the Irish Racing Excellence Award, the top prize of the entire awards. I think Johnny and Orla have something to show you. Yeah, we, 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 we had a great, we had a great, um, great time in Royal Ascot, Valerie's part of the team, but uh, it just keeps getting better. Congratulations, Valerie. You're the overall winner of the racing, racing Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Excellence Award. Congratulations. Well deserved. It. I know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, done. well done, Valerie. It's an absolute honour to crown you the 2021 Irish Racing Excellence Award winner. I hope you can, you can gather your emotions together for a moment <laughs> to tell us, tell us what it means to you. Oh, God, this week has just been brilliant between us, God. And now this, and hopefully we can crown it with the derby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's special. Thank you very, very much. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, I really can't. So well Thank done. Thank you, Look, Anthony and Orna. We could see in your initial video how much it meant to you and how much working with horses clearly meant to you. So congratu congratulations and massive well done to you and to the team there. Well done. Thank Yay! you very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God, that's special. Thank you very, very much. 
That brings us to a very fitting end to the Godolphin Irish Stud and Stable Staff Awards for 2021. We hope you've enjoyed the show, which has illustrated once again how devoted and committed all these people are. Thank you to all those who nominated their staff, colleagues and friends and showcased the talent and dedication we have among our Stud and Stable staff and those who support the industry. Congratulations once again to all the nominees, finalists and award winners. We are incredibly lucky to have such talented people working in and representing our sport and industry. Thank you and take care.